KCSE 2019 essay, question 7 and 8. 7. Dot giving examples, describe the following interactions among organism, 20 marks. Predator-prey relationship. A predator is an animal that hunts other animals for food, example, a dog, and a hare, preys devise survival mechanisms in their habitats not to be killed, to survive and reproduce. To this end, they run faster because they have strong hind leg muscles, camouflage with environments, mimic the predators, or strong sense of smell to detect the predator. Some emit chemicals that turn away from the predators, while others, like porcupines, use spines to fight off predators. On the other hand, predators also devise means to be able to survive in such an ecosystem, for instance, running faster and camouflaging with the environment, predators have sharp eyesight. Some produce poison to kill their prey, while others have sharp strong and long claws. Symbiosis is a long-term association between two organisms of different species where the two mutually benefit from each other, for example, the bacteria in the rumen or colon of herbivores, which help the herbivores digest cellulose, as they are sheltered by the herbivores, the bacteria found in the human digestive system, are also sheltered by humans as they ensure microbial balance. The nitrogen-fixing bacteria on the root nodules of leguminous plants, benefit from the shelter offered by the plants. As they facilitate conversion of free atmospheric nitrogen into forms that can be readily absorbed by the plants. Parasitism is a kind of association where one organism, the parasite, benefits while the other, the host loses, also called antagonistic antipathetic symbiosis, for example, a tick. Sucking blood from a cow, making the cow to be anemic and malnourished, parasites can be external or internal. Endoparasites, for instance, liver fluke, suck blood and nutrients from the host and can cause death or bodily harm on the internal organs of the host, including blocking blood vessels. 8. Explain the effects of increased physical activity on the following organ systems, 20 marks. A. Heart. Increased physical activity results in increased heartbeat, increased blood pressure pumps more blood to the peripheral blood vessels at a faster rate. Supplying oxygen and nutrients for continued respiration to yield energy needed to sustain the vigorous contraction and relaxation of muscles during the physical activity. Carbon, 4, oxide and other metabolic wastes produced during the process are also transported to the relevant excretory organs for elimination. The wastes, if left to accumulate, can poison cells or cause fatigue. B. Lungs. The increased breathing rate during the physical activity influences the lungs increase in volume, to take in more amount of air retained or expelled during the activity. The lungs expand to take in more air and deflate to expel more carbon, 4, oxide. More oxygen is taken in during exercise to sustain the process of muscle respiration to produce the required energy for the constant muscle contraction and relaxation. C. Kidneys. Kidneys maintain the blood plasma pH, and osmotic balance, by eliminating excess hydrogen ions that accumulate, for instance, through the production of carbon, 4, oxide during exercise. To maintain the osmotic balance, the kidneys conserve sodium ions and reabsorb water in the kidney tubules, leading to reduction in the volume of urine produced. During exercises, the kidneys tend to filter out more urea, releasing more in the urine. D. Skin. Due to the increased muscle activity during physical exercises, one sweats more, eliminating nitrogenous wastes and excess water through the sweat pores, cooling the body. After water in the sweat evaporates, the increased internal body temperature also leads to the dilation of superficial blood vessels leading to loss of excess heat by radiation or convection. The hair on the skin surface also lie flat to allow for loss of heat by radiation or convection. Thank you for learning in our channel, subscribe, and share.